And finally, after all the build up this week, it's time to get down to business. Fontaine and Vox lead the sides out. Danny Rogers behind Will. Of course, Falkert receiving a boost this week as Danny has extended his stay till the end of the season. Tom, how important is that continuity having Danny in the sticks for the rest of the season? You, you, you look to the Premier League and you look to people like Peter Cech who left Chelsea in the summer and the impact that he's had on, on the Arsenal team and that continuity and, and having such a good goalkeeper can, can almost can almost give you 10, 15 points a season. Top managers have said that before and um, Danny's performances in the, in the last couple of weeks have not just saved us points but also gained us points as well, especially against Rangers where he really contributed to us getting three instead of one point. Paul Watson just turning away from Cummings. It's passed to Volks, almost picked off. Sibbled recovers a loose ball. Plays it inside to Lee Miller, who drops off well. Gets away from McGinn. He's got Muirhead on the far side. Finds him, the cross comes in. And the header from Blair Alston. Unfortunately, just goes up and over. Opts to play the long diagonal instead. Miller flicks it on to Sibbled in the edge of the box. The cut back to Miller. Well, Miller and Bear just perhaps getting in each other's way there. Tremendous work by Mark Kerr to recycle the ball in the middle. Volks with the chip over the top. Headed away by Hanlon. McGeoch just nods that to Fivey though. You have to say McGeoch and Fivey doing a really good job of uh, putting pressure on their men. They are and I just I just feel for five or ten minutes we may need to, to ask our, our wingers or, or wider midfielders in Sibs and Blair Alston to... Um, to just hold the width a little bit more and stretch the game. Great tackle there. Lee Miller just couldn't quite pick out the pass to Alston. Tremendous tackle by Craig Sibbald. Rogers kick flicked on by Miller. Finds Baird. The layoff to Lee. And a rare attack for Falkirk. Finds Volks. Volks shoots. Not far away at all. He had Mark Oxley worried. A yard wide of the post at the end, but round of applause goes round the stadium it's a great it's a fantastic strike by by will and, and and what's caused the problem is the way that he's just shaped across the ball and he's put a little bit of slice on it and it's always going away from mark oxley and uh, you know from here it looked like it was only half a yard wide of the post he's got five on the angle and finds him the ball over the top looks for malonga that's a great interception by watson watch that one all the way coming over his shoulder and allows danny rogers to take that one Great piece of defending by Watson there, Tom. That's superb defending. The, the thing that makes that so so um, impressive is the way that he's had to move his feet. He's, you know, he's come and press the space and then he's had to spin and get him behind and then not only to clear the ball but to put it into the hands of Danny Rogers is, is a special piece of skill. He asked Volks to play it a bit more direct next time. Good pressure from Lee, though. Alston picks up the loose ball. Baird, the dummy. Lee must score and puts it over. 12 yards out, good move by Falkirk and a great dummy found Luke Lee on his own inside the box. Did tremendously well to dummy his man, cut back to the outside onto his stronger left foot and unfortunately just got underneath that one. Muirhead just recovers the ball from the snow mound. Plays the 1-2 with Volks from the throw. Inside to Alston. Finds Muirhead again. His attempted cross knocked away by 5 8, but, but Volks gets there, plays it forward to Miller. Little nudge from Fontaine, and then he hooks it clear. Volks gets there first, finds Miller. Chance to shoot! Just over the bar, and a good save by Oxley. Yeah, much brighter start, and within 30 seconds of the restart, the Bairns are on the front foot, Tom. Definitely, and all, it all comes from Will Volks winning that second ball, getting up high, winning the header, and a great knockdown into Lee Miller's path. and. He's very unlucky to see his shot tipped over the bar. And trots up and launches that one downfield. Headed away by Volks. A little flick from Baird. And good play by Alston. Back to Baird. Baird gets it to Volks. The reverse. Up to Baird on the edge of the box. Alston, chance to shoot. Goal! Great passing move by the Bairns. Blair Alston, six yards out, cool as you like, slots at home, Falkirk one, Hibs nil. Talk about the perfect start to the second half, 
Falkert within 30 seconds, having one shot tipped over, courtesy of Lee Miller. Another couple of chances, and then Blair Austin, five minutes into the second half, gives us a lead. Well, look at the difference pushing 20, 30 metres up the pitch can do for you, and we've won the ball back, it's gone into John Baird, and what a fa fantastic flick round the corner to, to Blair Alston, and he's shown his, his composure over the last couple of weeks, and in that situation, eight yards out, bearing the, bearing the keeper down, and with a defender in front of you, what do you do? You sit them both on the bum and slide it in the bottom corner. Miller, ball over the top, tries to find Baird, can he get there? He can, and he's kept it in, he needs a runner though. Just a slight misunderstanding. Tried to pick out Alston. Alston ran near post, the ball went more central, but the run did force the block. And despite his best efforts, Helen couldn't keep that one in on the byline, so will be another corner to Falkirk. So as Alan Stubbs men ready a substitute, he will be asked to defend. Flighted in low, the flick on! Certainly unlucky, straight across the face of goal. Peter Grant's the man that gets there. Lays it back to Muirhead. Cuts inside. The shot takes a little deflection up off McGinn, but McGinn clears it at the second attempt. Good play by Lee as well. 5-8, gets there first to the loose ball. Finds Stevenson, Hibbs on the attack. 5-8, Stevenson, Henderson. Chance for him to get involved in the corner of the box. The cutback's there. Chance to shoot. Goes over, but nothing given. Muirhead. Down the line to Alston. Under pressure from Stevenson, goes to the byline. Oh, clever play by Alston, goes round the outside. And just so unlucky, tremendous round of applause goes round the stadium there for Blair Alston. McGeoch now, inside to Henderson. The pass is there to Cummings, he's inside the box, goes wide, and the ball took a little deflection. Tom, you called it, Lee Miller makes way. Looks like Falkirk are going five in the middle, or perhaps the chance to put Alston or McGrandles in behind Baird and just uh, stop this weight of numbers, the advantage at Hibs half in the middle of the park. Yeah, and Lee's played very well today. There's been times where He's been out on the left, out on the right, holding the ball up. And um, I think McGrandles will just give us give us some legs running in behind John Baird there. And I think he will just play just off him and uh, and hopefully support him, not just in front, but but getting in behind the Hibs back four. Henderson, his pass picked off by Alston. Five green shirts ahead, though. Good play between McGrandles and Kerr. Now Baird, the first time ball down the line. Great tackle by McGrandles. Fontaine didn't like it, but McGrandles certainly let him know he's there. Kerr chips it forward. Sibbled tries to take it down, but just bounces away from him. Off the shoulder. McGeoch for Hibbs. McGeoch sends Malonga down the wing. Cross comes in. Headed away by Muirhead. Stevenson. Stevenson tries for the shot. Blocked by Watson. Hibbs appeal for the penalty. McGeoch, 25 yards out. The shot comes in. Roger saves, but it's there. Hibbs are level. Jason Cummings from all of one yard. And of course, the predatory instincts of Jason Cummings. Well, he wasn't going to miss for there, Tom. No, he's not. And Jason's been very quiet this afternoon. But with a player of his calibre and, and his finishing, you can't give him a second in the box. And... And he's peeled off well and anticipated the uh, the knockdown from the goalkeeper. And unfortunately, he's made the game 1-1. You have to say the tide of the game seems to be turning away the green and white at the moment. Yeah, they were starting to, to pick up little pockets in in front of our box. And um, there's a couple of shots from the edge of the box. And, and unfortunately, they're down the side again here. The ball in behind the defence. Chance there from Malonga. Well... I almost think he should have left that one for McGinn, but just wonder if McGrandos may play right in Alston. Yep, and indeed, that's exactly it. The corner kick. And this is where we need to st stand strong now. There's some physical boys in, in the box from Hibbs, and hopefully we can get this one away. Corner kick, swung in. Easy header there. A good save by Rogers. A good block as well by Grant. 
And again, Peter Grant, two tremendous Fantastic blocks save. in a row. And a great save by Danny Rogers. Hibbs really applying the pressure now. Volks does well. Good strength by Volks. Bear just asks a little bit too much of him, perhaps. But, well, needless foul by Hanlon. I actually feel a little bit sorry for Hanlon there, Tom. I don't think there was too much in that. Just a uh, shoulder to shoulder. I think Will was committed to the side tackle and, and almost felt the weight of uh, of Hanlon coming behind him and he's, and he's just fallen on the floor and, and almost bought us a free kick there. But prior to that, a great save by Danny Rogers. And we always talk about games being won and lost by either a piece of magic or, or by a mistake. And that was definitely a piece of magic by, by Danny Rogers there. A fantastic one-handed save down to his left. Well, the man of the match award... I'm just being told from the sponsors has gone to Falkirk's number 11, Mark Kerr. Henderson, Cummings, clean through on goal, shoots, great save by Rogers. Well, from nothing, a punt down the park. Hibernian put their talismanic striker clean through on goal, and that, Tom, is a massive save for Danny Rogers. The board has gone up, and there'll be an extra three minutes from now, the officials say. Swung in near post. It's telegraphed up in the air in the Bairns box. Grant heads it away, falls to Cummings. Shot blocked by McGrandos and Lee. Falkirk just clinging on, Tom. Well, the positive thing is every ball that's come into our box so far, touch wood, there's been a blue head onto it first. And, and from there, we've, we've pushed up and we've squeezed the play and we've looked quite assured in defence this afternoon. Picks out McGinn, 5 a again. Henderson flights it into the box. Lay back to Cummings. Shot. Hits Watson. 5-8. Good tackle by Paul Watson. Alston nudged in the back by McGinn. Free kick on halfway. Well, rather than hold back, Falkirk are going for it. Watson's going up. Grant's going up. And before Mark Kerr can take it, the full-time whistle has gone. Falkirk hang on to second place. Watched by 7,081 fans here. Well, Tom, perhaps not the prettiest of games at times, but what a point that could be. Well, in the previous four or five games, we showed how much of a good attacking team we are. Today, we showed the great determination and unity that we've got in this side. And what, what a fantastic defensive performance when, at times, it looked like we could have uh, surrendered the one point that we, we, we worked so hard to gain. It certainly seemed towards the, the closing stages of the match. You know, Hibernian piling pressure on time and time again. Credit to Paul Watson and Peter Grant at the heart of that defence. The fullbacks Lee and Muirhead and Danny Rogers by my count had three tremendous saves in that second half as well. Yeah, they were fantastic, and that's the spine of the team that's really forming into a into a strong bond. And we've got Danny, the two centre halves, and then Mark Kerr in front, who was also fantastic today. That give you that base and that spine to build a platform for him. Well, Falkirk battle away. And despite what the media claimed during the week, and Alan Stubbs saying Hibs were here, they were going to take the points. Falkirk have stopped them doing so. As for the second game in a row, Falkirk have managed to halt Hibs' progress and take a valuable point. Tom, I mean, in terms of momentum, it just keeps things ticking over nicely as well. It does, it does indeed, and it, what it reaffirms is the fact that we know we're just as good as the two clubs that are in, in for that promotion place and for that, and for that title. So a performance like that, even though we've not played as well as we know we can, we show that we can match a team of Hibs' quality in an attacking sense and also in a defensive, sen uh, defensive sense today. And obviously even a good goal by Blair Austin as well. It was a fairly, fairly good pass and move. Yeah, a fantastic goal. And John Baird showed a great, a great level of intelligence there. The ball's come into him. A lot of strikers would take the ball down, look to lay the ball off. But to have the awareness to flip the ball with, a, with almost a Cruyff touch, fantastic. And then for Blair to sit the, sit the defender on his bum and, and roll the ball in the bottom corner, well, that was fantastic to see. Well, a good performance by the Bairns on the day. Not quite all three points that we perhaps hoped for, but certainly a very valuable one. We've maintained our second place in the league and keep ourselves right in the mix for the playoff chase. Well, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to Tom for joining us for the last seven, eight weeks, whatever it's been, Tom. It's thanks been for having, me. having you here. Also, my usual thanks to, to Tony on technical support and Russell behind the camera, where the full-time score here at the Falkirk Stadium is Falkirk 1, Hebs 1.